tonight. And this is the 14th play of this drive. And into the end zone they go. Will they give it to him? Yes. That is a touchdown for Rashid Shaheed. What a run by Shaheed. And I'll tell you, but instead, Shaheed trusts his blocking outside. And then the burst of speed right here is what gets him into the end zone. Good point. Jenks firing downfield. Jenks got a man. What a catch made by Ty McPherson, the lone peak sophomore. Second and 10. Well, big again, again, but that's intercepted. He just threw that too high. And, time. and the sophomore out of Skyline High School steps up with the pick to stop the drive for Southern Utah. And Fox, you were. A grad assistant at Utah about a decade ago. That ball is tipped and it's picked off. And here come the Cats. Intercepted. Line of scrimmage and Tafalele. Great oh. job reading it. Boom, into his hands. Trying to make a little something out of this about return. That. Bingham high grad. For downs, they need the end zone. Jenks rolling. Got a man, got a touchdown. David Ames. Cats are in the end zone. To this pylon. You see that he's open. Nice job by Jenks to make the connection, but now you got to get in, and he does. Rodriguez. See if they have a wrinkle here. Yeah, the wrinkle is he runs into the end zone. Touchdown, Weaver State. <laughs> the wrinkle is you run away from the jumbo stack in the counter and then come back to that side for the touchdown. That's the wrinkle. But outside immediately, watch, he'll go first off to the left and come back to the right. The lead seven plays, 53 yards, and Adam Rodriguez, the defensive lineman, the three-yard touchdown run. Well, Lemma, when you find... Helbig intercepted. Boy, guys, he threw that right where he didn't want it. And look at that. And you know what? He had to hang on after taking a... I think you're going to see a whole lot of this. Josh Davis cuts it back up near the 30-yard line of Southern in this game. And there's Jackson. Jackson cuts it outside and takes it into the end zone. Untouched. Untouched to painter for Jackson. Nice blocking up front. When they move it, the play clock resets, and you get another shot right there. But until then, it is a three-possession game. Need to get Franken now. That's not what they want. But a big sack for Weber State. And now the defense is fired up. Certainly taking their time here. Got that snap off finally. Helbig fires into traffic and another great catch. That ball's taken away. Tolling away. Five on five. How about that? Landon Meesum appeared to have it, and Eddie Heckard said, uh uh. I'm taking that one, and that's the fourth interception for Weber State. How about that? Maybe none bigger than this. Southern Utah trying to drive down the field, and he just rips this ball out, and Heckard says, that belongs to me. <laughs> Snaps good, kick on the way, and how about that? You got it. Time to take a look at our games campus. They've done a great job here. No doubt. Fourth down, and that's it. And that's kind of a. How about that? That's for kind Williams, of Joe way Williams. to end it. Yeah. Third quarter, but then Weber State just opened it up, took care of business. I'll tell you, Jonah. And there it is. So Jay Hill and his Wildcats go to two and zero on this young Big Sky season, and they've now won 12 of their last 13 at home.